Hello Facebook, how are you going? Um, I am Bridget from iMove Physio in Roselle. Um, I'm going to talk to you tonight about a study that came out uh, sorry, last week through the Australian Physio Association Facebook page, um, but it was actually a study through the British Journal of Sports Medicine and it was all about swimming. Um, I People who've seen me and know me know that I like to swim a lot. Um, and one of the things I'm working on at the moment is I don't like the cold, I don't like being cold, I'm a bit of a princess when it comes to that. So one of the things I'm doing this winter is actually trying to get outside and swim in an outdoor pool at least once a week, which I've been successful in so far. Um, so I went for a swim today and I was going to do this video at the pool, but I ran out of time because I got carried away. So sorry that I'm in the fluoro lights of iMove. Um, but so the study that came out, I really liked it. There was a few things that I'm gonna flag with you towards the end, but I really liked it because it was a really nice, good comprehensive picture on why swimming's great for you. So obviously I'm a big fan. Um, the main things were that it decreased uh, your likelihood of having an early death, which is morbid to start with, but it de decreased the likelihood of an early death. It had improvements in heart health, in uh, improving and preventing uh, chronic conditions like obesity and diabetes which are really big factors in our economic uh, health expenditure um, so decreasing big conditions like that um, it increased heart health it increased lung capacity capacity um, and increased bone strength and cardiovascular fitness as well um, good for decreasing blood pressure and good for decreasing joint pain um, the, I didn't actually get my hands on the study paper. This is all from a summary article, so I'm not exactly sure how many, how what regular swimming would be, but my imagination would tell me it'd probably be about two or three times a week, um, and probably in the spell of 30 minutes, I would say. So that's what I'm kind of gathering what these results for, would come from, just as a bit of a general exercise recommendation. Um, it had some interesting stuff in regards to uh, aging, helping uh, older population stay mentally and physically fit as well um, but also it spoke a bit on the on the well-being on a mental and emotional level of swimming and the fact that it can be quite uh, good in regards to clearing headspace and preventing any mental health conditions and helping in the management of those um, which I can definitely vouch for swimming something that I find really meditative and really calming um, and I do some really good thinking in the pool but also at the same time I can just zone out and swim kilometers and not even have thought about anything and not really know where I am so I can definitely vouch for that on a, on a mental perspective and that's a personal experience that I've had and I have a few patients and we kind of talk about did you get into the meditative zone when I was swimming yes I did it was great it's really therapeutic in that regard um, and just the feeling of being in the water as well so I really liked that aspect of this study um, and that was something that I really uh, was drawn to because I um, experience that even just the counting of your breath counting those breaths and that rhythmic counting is just enough sometimes just to really help me switch off and relax um, and I love the feeling when I get out of the water um, the thing that just I flagged with this study was uh, who it was funded by and that's always something that we look at in regards to a study uh, as to whether it might be biased so uh, this study has come out in the middle of the Australian winter um, because it's funded by Swim England. So obviously this body wants people to swim. Um, so the fact that it was funded and put together and that was the driving force behind this study makes me think in the back of my mind, yeah, right, okay, there probably, there could be a little bit of uh, bias through here and they probably were looking for certain results and those results have been delivered. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd touch base. Um, if you're looking to get into swimming when the weather warms up, um, just from this study, um, I would definitely recommend it. I think it's I think it's something that's really nice, obviously from a physical level, but also as a really great stress stress manager and, and mental mental therapeutic exercise. Um, I'll post the link for the article below this. Um, if you've got any questions on swimming or anything at all, don't hesitate to sing out and have a really fantastic rest of your Tuesday night. Thanks, guys.